The Babylon 5 collectible card game B5CCG is a discontinued collectible card game set in the Babylon 5 universe. The game is ideally set for 4 to 5 players but can be played with a minimum of 2 players up to as many as 20 if using multiple non-aligned factions and home factions. This CCG is distinct from most others of the genre for being specifically designed to be played by more than 2 players. The gameplay tends to have strong political elements encouraging significant player interaction aka table talk, which is appropriate for a game based on a series which featured such a strong element of political intrigue. During its brief six-year existence under the Precedence Entertainment banner it released two core sets, five expansion sets and one revision set. There were two world championships during that time. The game still continues to have a cult following as further expansions were made available online. History Initially hoping for a November release, the game hit store shelves on December 11, 1997 in North America with the release of Premiere. Precedence then began hiring more staff to promote the B5CCG as quickly and completely as possible. A large part of their success came with their promoting of the game. Not only would they give free starter decks at major conventions but they offered solid prize support for local tournaments that were organized through their Ranger program. Precedence was also the first company to begin a successful promo chase card program, where various promo cards were made available through different means of acquiring them, some more difficult than others. This, as opposed to other companies who offered relatively common cards as promos, gave Precedence an edge in marketing not seen before. They followed up their debut with the Shadows expansion and within the same year released the Deluxe Edition, a reprint of the Premier Edition minus the Starter Decks and the Great War expansion. By the beginning of 1999, they found themselves near the top of the CCG market at that time. 1998 was a year of triple-digit growth for precedence, much of it spurred on by the broad-based international success of our Babylon 5 collectible card game, reports Precedence Entertainment CEO Paul W. Brown III. For some months now, Babylon 5 has been one of the best-selling and most played hobby card games in every country where the game is sold, particularly in North America, the UK and as far abroad as Australia. The enthusiasm and support of the fans has been overwhelming," stated Brown. We're most proud of the game's reputation for being true to the show. When your die-hard players even include people who have written for the actual series, like Babylon 5's original executive story editor Larry Dottilio, you know you're doing something right." In 1999, Precedence and Warner Brothers came to an agreement to renew the licensing to continue use of the Babylon 5 franchise until June 2001. After their breakout year they released psy -Core, an expansion dedicated to the world of telepaths. To promote this release, Precedence ran a contest where booster pack purchasers could collect five randomly inserted Psy Core identicards chase cards to redeem them for a chance to have dinner with Walter Koenig, the actor who portrayed Alfred Bester on the show. This was followed by Severed Dreams the same year and in 2000, Wheel of Fire and Crusade. In June 2001 Warner Brothers chose not to renew Precedence's license which brought publication, distribution of the game to an abrupt halt. This caused the cancellation of the collector's set which was already at the printers, and the well into development Anlishok expansion. The company closed its doors in 2002 although this was not as a direct result of the ending of the Babylon 5 licensing agreement with WB. <laughs> <laughs> Product history The Babylon 5 CCG was released as a base set premiere and the following expansions The Shadows Deluxe basically a reprint of premiere including the fixed cards from the starter decks but no starter decks themselves Great War Psy Core Severed Dreams Wheel of Fire Crusadeth Collector's set was at the printers at the time that the game's production was stopped a number of fan sets have been created and there is an active Facebook group led by Bruce Mason, one of the senior rangers, that is reimagining the game under the name the B5 Virtual Card Game B5 VCG. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> World Championships. 
During the course of the B5 CCG lifespan, Precedence Entertainment held two world championships. Each featured a large proportion of players from around the world and fierce competition. Topic first World Championship The first B5 CCG World Championship was held at Vorcon 1 in Pomona, California, October 16–18, 1998. Held at the Sheraton Fairplex Hotel and Conference Centre, the eventual winner was Canadian champion, Serge Laverne of Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He had used a Narn hybrid Vorlin military speed deck with the order above all winning agenda. Opposition came from Australian Steve Green and Les Allen, Marcel Copper of Germany, UK champion Mike Pemberthy, Pan European champion Hayden Jiddings, as well as Americans John Pava, Pete Simpson, Kyle Benick, Mike Jasperson, Anthony Oshmago, David Sisson, Paul Beeman, Kyle Sikora, and John and Jonna Golden. Topic. Second World Championship The second B5CCG World Championship was in Aachen, Germany, October 8–10, 1999. The champion there was Martin Franz who used a human deck with the agenda a rising power. The final table comprised Marco Schutz Narn, Michael Brand Minbari, Peter Ender Centauri, and Paul Sheward non The second world championship again featured national qualifiers, but there was also a pre-qualifying tournament run the day before. This allowed a number of locally based players to qualify for the world championship itself and led to the makeup of the top table, i.e. four out of the five players were local Germans. It was commented upon that this turned the world final into a team event with the German players ensuring that one of them won the tournament. <laughs> Zeta Squadron Zeta Squadron was the official member club of B5 CCG players registered with Precedence Publishing. They received newsletters which informed them of upcoming events and expansions. They also received promo cards such as the Natuth variant, an equivalent newsletter, Black Omega, was published in the United Kingdom supporting the European player base. The Rangers The Rangers were tournament organizers from around the world who conducted sanctioned tournaments, game demonstrations and arranged playtesting on behalf of precedents. Topic. Tournament formats There are several variant tournament formats that can be used when playing the B5CCG, below is a listed of most commonly used formats. Topic. Game cards, mechanics and rules Comprehensive lists of all published B5 CCG cards can be found on the Vorlin Space website together with the game rules and addendum a distilled version of the material published on Vorlin Space can be found here. Topic: <laughs> Online play. Programs such as Lackey CCG and Vassal allow players to meet and play online. <laughs> 